Hey everybody, it's date night. This is my wife, Lindsay. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> we have a mixed media girl acrylic pour date night package that we got in August and we're just filming now. So we are gonna rock and roll. We are gonna have some fun pouring some paint and kind of do this just as fun. And we thought we'd film it for you. You ready? Ready. All right. Um, I'll let you do the honors. So let's cut her open. Let's find out. We have no idea what's in the box. Uh, I do have my phone here. We are going to be watching a video on my phone and, and trying to follow along <laughs> with her as she guides us through a paint pour on date night. There's so much movement in my peripherals. I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah. I'm going to grab this fancy one right here too. So, so we can also film. Ooh, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just kidding. So we're opening up the box. Bubble wrap. We have bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Okay. It is packaged very nicely. Looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And... Ooh, rose petals. I was like, what is this there shiny is, there thing? There is rose petals. Mm. Well, don't lose them. I didn't mean to. I <laughs> threw it on the table. <laughs> oh, and this battery died already. <gasps> there's chocolate. There's chocolate. There's chocolate. Well, we like chocolate. Trader Joe's. No, sea no. salt and caramel. We love caramel and we love chocolate. Oh, no. So this, <laughs> this second camera might not work because, well, I don't um, have it. Batteries that are charged for it right now. Let's see. That one says it's charged. You want me to keep going? Yeah, keep or? going. Okay. So, so I, oh, I'm trying the instructions. to do, I'm trying to do two cameras today. But we decided to do this at the last minute, and I didn't charge these batteries. And normally, this one's above and it's plugged in. So we're going to see what happens. Go ahead. I don't want to read all that. Oh, okay. What do you want me to do? Well, let me look. This is what's in the box. Okay. We got rose petals. We had uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Maybe. Chocolate. Hello. We had rose petals. All sorts of fun stuff. Got all the colors. Ooh, look. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Kidding. Now it's in focus. We got some awesome colors. Like I said, we have uh, uh, the chocolates. We got a, an awesome instruction booklet. Rose petals. <laughs> some some really cool cups. Sorry. Nice. So I'm going to put this down until we start doing our pours. But I just wanted to show you what was in the box. Here we go. Ta-da. It was meant to be, honey. Why? All these blues. All right. She's really excited because recently we just had uh, my bathroom ceiling redone fixed. and re uh, fixed and repainted and everything. So it's all like bare in there and she really wants to get some art on the walls. So, you know, only been waiting for four years. Ooh, there you this go. Is really fun. It's like a Ooh, metallic. Yeah, yeah metallic. -y. Blue. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints. Uh, you can find them on her website. I don't have an affiliate, but that's okay. Oh. The link will be in the description Yay. below. So this, uh, so right away, I see right here, looking for something super fun to do on date night. Check this special mystery date night kit paint. Kit paint, yeah. <laughs> paint kit that comes with two of everything. Uh, so that's what we got. All we need, we have all the supplies we need for a class. We get a, a private class right here um, that she sends to us. Canvases, paints, gloves, etc. cetera. Uh, like I said, a link to the class and some special treats. In this box, we got... Uh, rose petals and chocolates, like we said. Uh, these are pre-mixed pouring paints, so we don't have to do anything Ooh. special. That's why I really like using her paint. If you haven't seen the hot makes where we had uh, where we had Mixed Media Girl on, along... Ooh, it's a candle. <laughs> it's a candle. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen the hot makes where she joined us on the episode, we actually poured live on hot makes, and I'll put that... So I'll put the link in, uh, how about right here and in the description below so you can check out the hot mix. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had, <laughs> we had Make Anything. We had Devin from Make Anything on with us too. It was so good. He actually put paint, uh, I'm sorry, he actually put beer in his paint, which was crazy. A few notes about the split cup 
Split. Bottle bottoms. They're a 3D printed plastic and they're intended for acrylic pouring. To maintain them, wash them immediately after use or you can pe pe uh, peel the paint off when you're done, but don't put them in the dishwasher. They're uh, specifically not for resin and they're difficult to cl clean if you use them in resin, so be careful. Uh, yeah, so that's a very brief synopsis of the instructions. We're gonna throw that back in the box. All right, what we got? Hey. Candle so, that smells like flowers. It's a flower, it smells like roses, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we got a, a rose petals and a rose candle. I don't know if it's rose, but it's flowers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything out of the box. We're gonna get it all ready. And we're gonna do that in super speed right now. Okay, so we have everything out of the box. We have our paints. We got some split cups here. Uh, these are awesome. They're actually 3D printed. Uh, she makes them on a print farm she has, which is really cool. So we'll put those there. We have a canvas, which is this right here. And we're gonna set that in the middle of our silicone mats. So these, I found these giant silicone mats uh, on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below. These things are awesome. They're uh, like two by three, right about two by three. I have three of them, um, and I thought they would be a lot of fun to do. And if you spill paint on them, which I will, I'll actually, oh, sweet, chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, when the paint dries, you can actually peel them right off the silicone, which is pretty cool. Go ahead. What are you looking at for? <laughs> Let's just make sure it was a coconut. So we have chocolate. We have our candle lit in the background here on the, sitting on the nice uh, 3D printer. <laughs> so we're about ready to get going. What I'm gonna do is turn on the special video on my phone. We're gonna watch what we're supposed to do and then we're gonna do it. Uh, so you might see these yellow things right here. These are like painter's triangles or something like that. I think they're called. I'll put a link in the description below. Painter's pyramid. Painted painter's pyramid. Sorry. It's so you can actually set your, your canvas up like this. So it's off the table. So the first time I did this on, on hot makes, I left everything down on this mat actually right here. You can see it's got paint all over it on both sides. Cause I flipped it over on one <laughs> and, uh, what happened was when the paint dried, it actually dried to it. So I, I do have some of these 3D printed um, in resin actually, and they're, they're not cured yet. So we're gonna use these today. So what we're gonna do is pause this real quick. We're gonna watch the video uh, or see what we're supposed to do. And then we'll be right back. So we just got done watching the instructions from Marcy, mixed media girl. And she actually had two different ways to pour in the video. And I think we both decided we liked uh, the second way better. So I think, do you remember what she called that way? Figure eight or something? The figure eight. Yeah, we're gonna call it the figure eight. So it's a figure eight pour. Um, we're gonna use these split cups. So these are 3D printed. They have a little MMG on the inside here and there's a split right in the center. And I'm gonna grab a camera so you can see that a little close up. but. There's a split right in the center so you can actually fill uh, two sides. And Lindsay's gonna go first. So we're hoping we have a, enough battery in this thing. So because this is our first time using these, we don't know how much paint exactly it's gonna take, but we do know we're only supposed to go to about like right there. Mm -hmm. Whoopsies, we got these things on there. So you can see there's a split there. So she's gonna do the right side first. So hopefully this footage is okay because, you know, I'm, I'm historically shaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and don't get anybody complaining about that ever. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go here, picking the colors I like. I definitely like a lot of metallics. Okay. Go over here because you're pouring into that. I'm cup. sorry. No, you're fine. I just want to watch it pour. 
Let us know in the comments what you do for date night. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, we do this we, all the time. We, huh? <laughs> we haven't I done a date night. I couldn't even tell you the last. I mean, I know what we did the last time we had a date night, but I don't even remember what month that was. Yeah, I don't either. That's how long we we uh, we don't have a date night very often because of the little man, which is awesome for us because we love him. But sometimes we need one. He's just sleeping right now, so that's his art. <laughs> this is our date night because he's just sleeping. I'm totally not following directions because there was supposed to be only one, how many colors on that side? It doesn't I'm matter. I'm just going to town here. Your light ones. Okay. So I think you're at that you point. Go yeah. You know, there. Okay. Perfect. So Maybe now she, on she filled this too. one. She's got multiple colors in there. I'm just. Yeah. Now on the other side, it's supposed to be the darker yeah, colors. It can be whatever colors you want. Um, yeah, like it can silver. be whatever colors you want. As long as there's enough for both of us. <laughs> We hope so. So we got a lot of color here, so there should be plenty. And there's actually we, have, yeah, we have more from the time. last time I did this too, so we can always use some different... Um, we could always use some you know, other colors too. That's pretty cool. So she's almost to the point where she's going to pour. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Okay. okay. So she has um, both the of the colors filled. There you go. You can see both colors now. And it's kind of hard to see, but they are uh, a little different there. So in this particular way of pouring, uh, you start and you do like a figure eight on the canvas. And so hopefully... You ready? Nope. Let me get on this side. You're right-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Nothing's changed. Hang on. Camera. All right, let's try it. Ready? Yep. So, here we go. She can do any size figure eight she wants. Big, little. You can do a combination. And that is half the fun. Ooh, that looks really cool. I like that we can see the paint coming out slowly. Am I going too fast? No. You can do whatever you want. You got a lot of paint there. Mm -hmm. Used a lot of the dark color. So that's coming out a lot. Come on, so. Well, there goes that camera again. <laughs> it's starting to fall off the thing. Okay. Well, you better get it. All right, so now she is tilting it, and the object is to tilt it so it covers most of the canvas before it starts falling off. It's already falling off. But it's already falling off. I mean, you're pretty much there. Yeah. So you can see how cool that looks. So much paint. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Go to the corners. I'm trying. And then let it start tipping off. You got it. And then you'll have to remember you got to tip it on all the edges too. So, so everything's covered. So you, she's getting down here, a little bit over there. Corners are hard to get to. It all just falls <laughs> off. It looks really cool though. I'll save a close up for when it's done because I'm excited to see it. So now, like, flood it you know, to wherever you need to. And I'm just trying to get the corners still. All my corners are empty. How do I get it over here? It's all just falling everywhere. <laughs> do you even have the other camera on? Yeah. Oh. We're filming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Keep know talking. what I'm doing. So, so this is Lindsay's first time doing this, right? Yeah. This will be my second time because we did it, you know, like I said, during hot mix. But it is, <laughs> it's the first time. It it's very, go where you it's want very it crazy. Go. On the canvas go when on we're the done. corner. <laughs> go in your home. Don't you know where your home is? <laughs> Why? Get over. I'm so, losing so, so much paint. So we're setting uh, the canvas on those paint pyramids right here. 
And the, you can 3D print these. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description where I found these. I believe it was uh, Thangs. Um, I believe I found them on Thangs, which coincidentally is a sponsor of today's video. <laughs> With over 5 million models, Thangs is quickly becoming the place to go get your 3D models. Jump over there. The link in the description below will take you to the mini gym, which was designed by Wexter himself. Uh, so go over there, grab the mini gym, and print it. And then go to Twitter and post it with the hashtag hot mix. There's, there's a mini gym right there. So it's my turn. I'm going to take my cup here. You want to see the cup? Uh, I'll put it face this way for now. And we are going to start. So she did her darks on top. Uh, on the bottom, I'm sorry. Um, and it's supposed to be half and half. I'm going to do... I'm gonna to try to do a little bit different. So I'm gonna take my white here, and whew, that was a lot of white, by the way. Uh, then I'm gonna take this nice blue. Like that. Then I'm gonna take the turquoise. Which is literally what it says on the label. It is, label. yeah. Just Turquoise. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa, whoa. A little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. So we got a little gray or silver. 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 Sorry. I love this silver, by the way. It's so much... There's so much uh, metallic mm -hmm. in that silver. Like it, you can see it yeah. spread through my So whole. that is full to where it's supposed to be. And so I'm gonna do it backwards on this one. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit backwards. Uh, we're supposed to do some darker stuff. I'm gonna throw some white on that side, a little light, lighten it up a little. Then I'm gonna do my silver on that. Okay. Just putting caps back on here. Uh, then I'm gonna jump over here to Sapphire. Sapphire. Uh, we'll put that right there. I think I'm gonna, oh, you, have, you have a lot of purple in yours. I'll do a dab of purple, just, just a little dab. It is a really cool purple though. Mm -hmm. I mean, really nice purple. Now, we didn't use the green. Should I use the green? A little dab. We're doing it. You're going to put it, yeah. In the Everglade, background. Everglade green. Just, just a hair. Okay. And then we're about three quarters of the way. Uh, we'll do a little, that was, that was the last one. Do a little more silver. Like that. Um, maybe a, a, a dab of white. I don't want it to be too dark on this one. A little more white in there. Uh, That's just your background right. now. I really, close to the top. I really like this sapphire. This sapphire is really good. I, I don't think you could see how metallic -y it is, but it's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I'm about ready uh, to pour. So I'm going to keep mine down uh, on the table while I'm pouring, and then I'll put it up on the risers, um, you know, to let it dry. So, I think I'm going to do the figure eight as well, because I really like that idea. So, the other design that she wanted to, that she told you could do is just pour right in the center, and then move it around from there, which I thought was a cool idea, too. Maybe I should do that one, because you did that one. Whatever you want. All right. Me. Mine doesn't look like a figure eight at all. So, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I am, I'm going to do, I, I'm actually changing my mind mid video and I'm going to do just the straight pour. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Ready? Do it. So she showed this, this is the first way. Do it slow. Remember? And she said real slow. Yeah. So we're just going real slow. We're pouring it right into the center. Getting all those colors, hopefully in there. There's the green. You <laughs> see the green? Oh, there's that turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so cool. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, 
you know, I've only done this one other time on that on that other hot mix show, and Lindsay's not done this yet, and it's just such a fun two person couples date night. Um, I mean, it's it you could do this with your kids too if they're old enough to deal with the paint. You could do it with anybody, really. It, it's just such a fun little project. The price was great. And what um, a fun gift for Christmas for like a couple that you yeah, know. Yeah, that would be cool to give them like a fun little. There's that white. Crafty project to do together. So cool. So I'm going to go a little bit faster because my table is not level and it's coming towards me. If I've known anything from watching Evan and Caitlin is it's to level before we pour. And uh, we definitely didn't. They forget to. Yeah. Mold boobies and leveling. They forget all the time. Yeah. So I really let it go in the end there. And it looks really cool. I'm going to do one of these. Ooh. Kind of give it a little bit of a crazy white. All right. I think I'm ready. So I believe we do this, right? It's and like then, lightning. <laughs> and now I'm going to start tilting. Show me how it's done. All right. So I'm going to go this way first. Then I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to come over to this side. So you can see it and then we're gonna flood it Ooh, just like that all right did I get that side already are you asking me mm -hmm. the side know. closest to you is it covered no it's not. you got your corners okay. <laughs> yeah, I <do>. my nemesis <laughs> yeah yeah we're good almost so a little bit on my corner. So I went really fast. Yours is so um, much lighter than mine. And yeah. you can't see the green at all or like the purple. No, the green disappeared. The purple light. disappeared. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do is just double check. I got my corners. I did on that one. I did on that one. I did on that one. Show off. And now I'm going to have Lindsay grab the painter's uh, pyramids. And we need to put those underneath here. Yeah. I set mine up ahead of time, and now I have to do it for you, too. Yeah. Uh, my hands look like this. I just got done pouring mine. And we'll, we'll give you a final shot. review in a minute. We'll give you a final what? review in a minute. We don't want to do it yet. We give them a minute to settle. Because once you set them, uh, especially if the tables aren't level, it'll still move. Okay. We are back. Bump. I will. All right, so we both just got done doing our pours, and what's the first thing you notice? That they're different. They're very, very different. <laughs> <laughs> and and it half, a lot of that's because they were completely different styles of pour, and a lot of that is, you know, I dumped mine, if you noticed, I dumped mine very quickly around the whole canvas, um, very fast, and Lindsay, uh, you know, it was a little bit slower, more methodical. And that's actually about how we both are. So <laughs> <laughs> she, especially during art, she's very, you know, she's a lot uh, more predicted and, and plans out stuff. And I don't do art. So I just, <laughs> so there's that. But, uh, you know, these are, they're really cool. Sorry about the light above, but you can see how cool it looks. Now, those darks really didn't show up too much in mine. They're all right here. Yeah, they're, they're like, <laughs> they're back over this way. So oh, a lot of that flooded table. off. And uh, I think it's because I put them in first. You know, I put a lot of the darker side mm -hmm. in first. And this was probably the darker you side of the pour. Of near the top. That kind of reminds me of maybe a hurricane or something, mm -hmm. like in the ocean. That's really cool. Looks like a geode or something yeah. with the ocean. There you go. And then um, over here, Lindsay's, is completely different. Very on the dark side of things, as far as the colors went today. Um, I put a, lot a lot of, of white in, but you don't really see that much white. <laughs> right? There's a lot of purple. Um, there's a, some really cool flows of white in there. And just a really cool... I, I like it a lot. It looks really cool. Uh, very good on your edges. <laughs> and you know overall very cool canvas now who knows what these are going to look like when 
you know, when they dry, like I said, they're going to move around. I believe they can take like up to two days to dry depending on temperature and humidity and all of that stuff. So what we'll do is we will come back in the morning. As Evan and Caitlin would say, it's a couple sleeps later and we have the finished final results in our hands. She is holding mine, I am holding hers. Uh, I actually snuck some peeks so I know what they both look like. She hasn't seen the final yet on hers, so. Surprise. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Well, since, since I've known what mine looks like, how about you show everybody what mine looks like? All right, ready? Yeah. One, do it, do it. Two, three. Nice. That's pretty awesome. It definitely looks like, to me, like kind of a tropical storm going on there. Mm -hmm. um, you got the silvers really came out, the metallics came out. What do you think? Yeah, looks awesome. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So I'll do uh, Lindsay's now. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. That's crazy how the non-metallic areas are like super shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like all the blacks and purple. It's really cool looking. And it's such a fun project. Uh, I mean, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I got to thank, thank Mixed Media Girl for putting together the date night pack. We bought it. We purchased it. Uh, she didn't give it to us. So that was, it's so cool. Uh, like we said a little bit earlier in the video, um, it is such a fun, cool project to do as a fun date night. Uh, you could do it with your kids if you wanted to do it with your kids, uh, maybe your parents or something too, but mm -hmm. it's more fun with a date night because we had our chocolates, we had the candle, we had the cool pictures. Here, you hold yours for mm -hmm. a minute. I'll hold mine. Well, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our date night, something a little bit different on this channel. But we had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm super glad I got to film with Lindsay. Maybe she'll be on a live stream sometime soon. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> I guess not. Hey, everybody. <laughs> keep printing, burning. Making. Making. Keep making. I don't know. Is there anything else we need to say? I don't know. We're so like, how about this? And I'm like, I'm not ready. <laughs> That's about right. Like, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hanukkah! <laughs> no, I guess not.